Around 11 p.m. on Friday night, Scott received a message from Janice. Just at Sky Bar with a friend, come join us. Ever since he had first met Janice a couple of weeks ago, Scott had found himself thinking about her more times than he cared to admit. Deep down, Scott wanted nothing more than to go to sleep. But he knew this was a golden opportunity to see Janice and possibly have sex with her. It was Friday night, after all. When Scott arrived at the bar an hour later, he saw Janice standing in the VIP area with a group of friends. Scott didn't expect to see Janice with so many people. He thought she was just going to be hanging out with her friend Kelsey. Scott approached the group and tapped Janice on the shoulder. Scott, you made it, Janice shrieked, throwing her arms around him. Let me introduce you to everyone. Can't wait, Scott said, trying his best to feign interest. An hour later, Scott found himself standing on the edge of the group, talking to a guy called Mike, who, it turns out, was also there to see Janice. Janice, meanwhile, continued to ignore Scott. He had tried to talk to her a couple of times, but she didn't seem that interested in anything he had to say. I knew coming here was a big mistake, Scott muttered, as he went to the bar to order another drink. By the time he came back, Scott was just in time to see Janice and Kelsey say goodnight to everyone. What a colossal waste of time, Scott thought. I should have just gone to bed. At least then I would still have a chance with this girl, instead of looking like a total loser.